Hi, welcome back. In today's session, we're going to look at BAS terminal for MTAR deployment in Cloud Foundry space. We're going to start with some of the basics of using BAS terminal in general. To start with, Business Application Studio Terminal is an inbuilt Unix terminal that comes automatically with the BAS service activation. You can start using this without doing any further configuration in Business Application Studio. Let's take a look at some of the basic commands in this terminal. So you can invoke the BAS terminal from uh, the menu terminal, new terminal, or you can also click on the view and invoke the find command palette and say terminal. It's going to give you an option to open a new terminal. Okay, already opened my terminal, it's in the bottom. So you can see the default directory is user. So I can change my directory or I can display the existing directories in my root folder. For that, I'm going to start with DIR. If you're familiar with the Windows commands, you can use DIR. So you can see all the directories in the in this folder. Or I can also list as LS. It's a little more formatted. You can see um, the colored uh, folders when I issued LS. You can also issue LS A, which is going to display all the directories which are hidden as well. If you want to change the directory or go into a directory, you can issue a command called CT and say, pick one of the folder. It's going to be projects. I go into the projects folder directory. I can further go into the projects folder by listing and see what is in there. So I've got few projects, BAS training and app dev projects. I want to get into the BAS training. I can issue CD BAS training. So I go into this project and list all the files in here. So there are these, uh, some of the four folders inside, or four files and folders inside the BAS training training project, as you can see here. Okay, if you wanted to go back to the previous directory, you can issue a command um, cd and space dot dot. It's gonna to go to previous directory. If you wanna to go to your root directory again, just issue this command. So you are at the user level. Okay, if I wanted to remove a project or folder from the directory, I can issue a command to remove that. So in this case, I would like to remove app dev project from the projects area. So I can issue a command remove and say RF and just give the project or folder name. It's removed. Now you can see that it's been removed from my projects folder as well. So I can check that by running the list command in the projects. I can only see PAS training and the other workspace. So you can clean up the directory and you can change the directories and go back to the home directory or root directory and, and many basic actions you can do using this terminal. By using this terminal, you can also integrate with your Git. Uh, you can add the commits, push, pull, and clone um, uh, and etc. All the Git bash activities can be performed using the interactive terminal inside the business application studio. As a next step, I would like to explain uh, usage of CFCLI tools inside this terminal. In the past, you got to use uh, uh, CFCLI tools from command line by going into CMD prompt and access the CLI uh, app and give the commands in here. But with BAS, we don't have to go to the CF CLI tools. It's in build. So for example, you wanted to check the CF login, you can always get the, um, the API endpoint prompted uh, since I already uh, given this pro this endpoint. If you're doing it for the first time, you can give the endpoint. That is, you, you can get it from the Cloud Foundry cockpit. This is your API endpoint. And I'm just going to go to and give my email ID. 
and then password. I'm going to show the spaces involved in my sub account. So I'm going to choose my dev space because there's nothing in, in trot space. So it's, a, it's targeted to my dev space. You can list the CI services to display all the services in my dev space. You can also display apps and I can perform all the other CF CLI activities inside this terminal. As a next step, we'd like to uh, do the deployment uh, using CLI terminal here. In my last session, I've used um, command palette for deploying MTAR project. You can build and deploy the M MTA project from the command palette. But in this session, I'm going to do that from my terminal. So what I need to do, I just uh, run the command CF deploy and give the full path of this file. So I can see the path of the file here. You can also go and copy path and just give it here. And it starts deploying the mtar into the space which I targeted for. So the default space I've chosen is the dev. So it's going to put my mtar into the dev space. Once it is done, I can go back to my database explorer and see that the, the, the main container is being built. And this is the result of the deployed container. The one I have deploy from here, it's not an mtar deployment, just the direct deployment, which is going to generate developers a container from this, from this place. The one um, right there. Now we did the mtar deployment, which is going to generate a cleaner container for your service instance. It's all done. You can also perform delete services if you don't want any of the service. All the CF commands you can perform um, in this terminal. For example, now if I look at CF services, I will have the, the new service which is being deployed as part of mtar deployment. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye for now.